We serve a God who is more boundless and unsearchable than the heavens itself. As the entire universe cycles effortlessly in the safety of the master's hands, it's easy to dismiss ourselves as mere dots or specks in a vast equation. How blessed we are to know that he who is without measure made himself small so that we might be called the sons and daughters of God. It is his pleasure and his will to know us and to love us intimately as a father loves his child. Because we are God's children, he has sent the spirit of his son, Jesus, into our hearts so that now we have the right to talk about God as our father, our Abba, our dad. Sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words. At the 1992 Olympics in Barcelona, spectators saw a living picture of God's love for his children. That year, Derek Redmond of Great Britain was reaching for his lifelong dream of winning a gold medal in the 400 meter run. As the gun sounded for the semifinals, Derek knew without a doubt he was running the race of his life. Then, tragically, a torn right hamstring sent him sprawling face down on the hard surface of the track. By a sheer act of will, he struggled to his feet and began crazily hopping toward the finish line. Suddenly, a large man in a t-shirt bounded out of the stands, flinging security guards aside. Making his way toward the wounded runner, Jim Redmond threw his arms around his son. Son, you don't have to do this, he said. Yes, I do, Dad, Derek answered. All right, then. Let's finish this thing together, said the older man. And that's exactly what they did. Staying in Derek's lane the whole way, the son's head frequently buried in his father's shoulder, they made it to the end of the race as the crowd rose to its feet, weeping and cheering. Derek Redmond did not win the gold medal that day, but he walked away from the race with the memory of a father who loved him too much to stay in the stands watching him suffer. A father who came down out of the stands and entered his race. This is the kind of heavenly father we have. One who loves us too much to look down from heaven watching us fall and fail, but who is willing to come into our race, running it beside us and within us every step of the way until we are safely home. When I fall, you restore me, and when I fail, you lead me in your way. When the race is too rough, you run beside me. You're there to guide me every day. Father. 
Wasn't that wonderful? I like that. Great job, boys and girls and choir. Robert, thank you so much. Great job.